everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Sam, aka RubyT, and we are here. We have made it. It is the finale of the Pokemon Emerald Randomized Nuzlocke chosen by you. All throughout, you guys have chosen the Pokemon I'm using. You've chosen the names of those Pokemon. You've chosen the rules for me. We have had a good ride. If I'm honest, I think we've had a pretty, pretty good time of it a lot of the time. And we're here, we're about to take on the champion. Thankfully, uh, thanks to Rex who pointed this out to me uh, in the comments of the last video, I do have ethers, uh, ethers, whatever they're called, and elixirs, so I can restore the PP on my Pokemon, which, um, which is surely gonna come in pretty, pretty handy. Guys, if you haven't already, please, please subscribe to the channel, like and comment on the video, it's all really, really helpful. Uh, it's really, really, it's, it's just nice of you to do and I really, really appreciate it. So, um, uh, we're going to give you the last team rundown. We've got Dom, Dumbo the Dom fan, Rock Slide, Flail, Strength, Earthquake. Um, good moveset, good Pokemon, strong Pokemon. Uh, been really good for us. Thanos the Ledian, everyone's favourite apart from me. The Psychic, <laughs> Miss Ball, Arm Thrust, uh, uh, Reflect and Morning Sun. I've actually grown to like Ledian. We've got Altair the Altaria. We have got Shrimp the Armal though who has been absolute boss this whole time, and Kooky the Kingler, Surf Stomp, uh, Mud Shot and, and Recover, and then we obviously we have Wolf, who unfortunately has not made it through the Elite Four. But there we go. Uh, this is our team. This is how we're going to do it. We're going to be the best that we can be. Um, it's going to be so much fun. Guys, 9 p.m. UK time tonight, uh, 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Get on to twitch.com forward slash RubyT Pokemon. Uh, join me. We're going to play through Radical Red. We're going to start Radical Red. Play it through as the Discord. Anyone else who wants to come along and join us, please do. And also join the Discord. It's going to be a lot of fun. Um, I'm probably going to lose and die a lot, but that's okay. That's going to be fun too for you guys. Not so much for me, but there we go. We take the long, long walk up the steps into Wallace's room. Wallace, that famous water type trainer who won't have any water type Pokemon with him this time, but uh, he welcomes us. He talks about that incident in Sutopolis City where he did absolutely nothing and just left us, a small 10-year-old child, to deal with the whole thing, which is ridiculous. There we go. Uh, we chat to him. You can see him standing there with his silly fringe and his silly hat. And it's time. It's time for the final battle of this Nuzlocke, guys. I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I have, and let's hope that we manage to get through this one. Uh, so he, he goes by Bike Around this time. He's, he leads off at Mr. Mine, level 57, a big level jump from where we are. But we got Dumbo, and we've got a Dream, so I'm sure we're going to be just okay. I have a think for a second, and I decide to go for Earthquake. Mine Psychics into us, which, damn, that hurts us. That's a lot of damage. But it's a roll as to whether it knocks us out, so it's not as bad as it possibly could have been. We do a huge amount of damage with Earthquake, puts him into that red range, which means we know he's going to use a potion. So I decide the best thing to do here is Earthquake again. Uh, chance of crit, chance of high roll maybe, although it's definitely out of range for that, but you know. Uh, we go for the Earthquake again, and we do another good chunk of damage. It turns out our previous hit was a bit of a lower roll, and uh, he's down in the red again. So I think, well, you know what? We haven't really got a switch in here, do we? Does anyone think we have a switch in? I, I wasn't too sure, but um, I realized then Dumbo doesn't have the greatest special defense, right? Someone else has got to have spe better special defense. Altario's is good, um, Kuki's is not. Um, Anaris is good, Ledian's is good, huh? Ledian's got good special defense, but it's got no way to hit that stupid thing with any moves at all. Um, so I was kind of a little bit stuck. I didn't really know what to do. I didn't know what choices I had. Uh, I really didn't want to lose a Pokemon this early in the battle, you know? It was, um, it was tough. I went for the Earthquake, he went for Safeguard, so we were definitely, definitely okay here. Whack him with the Earthquake, see you later, Mime. You can uh, make your way in a little glass box somewhere else, not around here. So, Mr. Mine was down. We were 1-0 one, one up. Uh, five Pokemon left each. Um, he sent out Poliwell. Obviously, he can't stay in here with Poliwell. Just got that thing straight out of here. Went into Kuki. Uh, Kuki, the, uh, the Kyogre Slayer, the Water-type Master, uh, takes this Hydro Pump like a champion. Although, I say like a champion. Actually, not that great. Special Defense absolutely dreadful. Uh, Poliwell goes for a rain dance, which is not great. Uh, I know this thing can have Swift Swim, so uh, it meant that any mud shotting we could do would reduce its speed, but it would still be definitely outspeeding us. Stomp didn't do quite as much as I'd liked, which is a real shame. Um, and we were going to take even more damage from this Hydro Pump up next. 
I figured perhaps my best bet uh, in all this was to try and get a mud shot off and slow it down or try and get a stomp off and get some more damage. The Hydro Pump hits us again. Uh, anyone know what Hydro Pump's accuracy is in this gem? Not a lot, but how many times do you reckon we get hit by it? A lot. Uh, we hit the mud shot, we land the mud shot, which is fantastic because it lowers Polywell's speed. However, it was now, if this thing has swift swim, we're going to get outsped. If it doesn't, we're going to be okay. I took a look around, I thought, you know what? We're switching, we're going to Thanos. Thanos comes in. Thanos uh, gets hit with the Hydro Pump because that Hydro Pump never misses, ever, literally never. But he takes it like a champion, like an absolute champion. Uh, and Ledian is pretty fast, right? It's faster than Kingler, so I figure if anyone's got a chance against this guy, it's going to be us. Uh, and I thought the best thing we could possibly do is stall the rain. I know Morning Sun won't get us up loads in the rain, won't get us loads and loads of health, but it would get us just enough to live another Hydro Pump, which of course he hits again. Because why wouldn't he? Ledian survives. What an absolute champion. One of the best Pokemon I've ever seen in my life. Uh, just joking. Literally just joking. Calm down. Um, Ledian takes some damage. We know it's only one more turn of Rain Dance to stall out before we're definitely going to outspeed it with whichever Pokemon we want to use at this point because it's had the Mud Shot hit against it. It's lost a, a one, one thing of speed. So I know that I just need to last out one more turn. Now, what is the best way to do that? Uh, it wasn't sacking Ledian. It did not sack Ledian here. I switched into Altaria. You guys can thank me later. Uh, the Hydro Pump comes out. Of course, it lands again, five in a row, just in case you were counting. Uh, and Altaria takes it pretty darn well. The rain stops, so we know we're definitely going to outspeed. So even if this thing did have anything like uh, Ice Beam or Ice Punch or some BS like that, we'd be okay. I Dragon Dance, knowing that this is hopefully going to set me up uh, for, for the future turns. We get Body Slammed. Don't take it too well, to be honest with you. Um, I would have really hoped that we, we'd take it a little bit better than that since it's not stabbed, but you know, there we are. We're still above half our, half our health. Polywell's attack misses. We land our fly. All is looking good. Everything is looking fantastic. I'm really pleased. What could possibly go wrong from this point? Anybody, anybody know? Uh, this could go wrong. Suicune comes out for Wallace. Yeah, the water type master showing he really is a bit of a water type master with this piece of trash. Anyway, I have a good long think, and I realise that I've got nothing who can come in on this. I've got nothing to switch in and take a hit on this guy. Uh, if I bring in, if I bring in the um, the Kingler, he's going to go down by the second turn. So we get a fly off, we crit. Altaria leaves us that parting gift, and I, I knew it was always a risk because I know that this thing can carry a Roar Beam or Ice Beam, and we get taken down. Rest in peace, Altair. You will not know how much that little bit of little bit of damage you did in this battle helped us out. So things were no longer looking so good. Uh, we had Kooky left um, on not too much health. I'll be honest, uh, we had Ledian on not too much health. Shrimp on full health and Dumbo on about half. Uh, this was tough. I, I, I really, really spent a lot of time thinking about this because it's just hard. If Kooky comes in and he takes an attack from Suicune, we're going to be fine. Uh, because we can recover it off, right? But if he doesn't take it, what do we do? So, sweet so rain dances. We're safe. We're okay. It goes for the rain dance, and we're able to get our recover off, which is really, really nice. Uh, and strap yourselves in, boys and girls, because uh, this was not quick. We had to be real smart with this uh, to beat this uh, dumbass sweet coon. So, uh, the rain is falling, and it's now time for us to start firing off attacks as quickly as we can. We take the Aurora Beam, uh, we take it quite well considering how bad our special defense is. We land a Mud Shot, which is awesome because it lowers Suicune's speed. However, it doesn't do quite enough damage for me to feel confident that Stomp will KO it. So uh, it looks like he's going to probably be able to heal up because I don't think we're going to be able to knock it out with anything we've got. We go for one more recover because I want to make sure that Cookie stays healthy. If there's ever some freeze hacks or there's any other BS that's going to be going on, I want to make sure that Cookie is healthy as possible. So he goes for the Mist which is not too much of a problem because it means we're not taking any damage, right? So I'm happy for him to keep going with that. Uh, we decide to stomp this time, see if we can get some damage down on this Suicune, uh, which we do, we do a little bit, but again, like I said, uh, like I was afraid of, it's just not quite enough uh, for us to really um, to get anywhere close to KOing it, and uh, he's going to be able to heal up straight away after this, which is a shame. Uh, so he does heal up, uses that full restore, Obviously hasn't read the rules of this Nuzlocke. We hit it with a stomp and it's just not doing much, guys. Like I said, you strap yourselves in. This isn't, uh, 
This is this isn't a battle for the faint-hearted. We do another stomp. We take another Aurora Beam. Uh, we're not doing much damage. He's not doing much damage. He's probably out full restores though now. He's used two, which is really awesome this early on. Um, especially when it comes to what's coming up next. But yeah, we hit another stomp. We know we've got some recovers left in the tank. The important thing here is going to be timing. Can we take out this Suicune when we have got as much health as possible? Because what we don't want to do is take it out when we've got half health or take it out when we've taken a good amount of chip. We want to be as close to full as we can because obviously we don't know what's coming up next. We need to make sure that we're ready for it. Uh, or certainly as ready as we possibly can be. So the rain continues to fall. Uh, we continue to, to use our PP and we go for another stomp here because we're not going to KO it, but we might get it a bit close. So I now think maybe we're in range. Maybe we're in range so we can knock this guy out. Here, Aurora Beams takes us ju just above half, um, which means it makes our decision a little bit easier, right? So we can recover now, hope that maybe he goes for, for a mist uh, or, or something like that, uh, and hope that, hope that, that, that works for us. Uh, he, he doesn't go for the Aurora Beam, but that's fine. We take so little from Aurora Beam that we're still going to be up near full health, right? Um, so it's not very effective. The rain continues to fall, um, which, is, which is nice. So we go for the Mud Shot. Uh, we miss. I wanted to save some PP on Stomp because I need it later, but we miss the stupid Mud Shot. We get hit with another Aurora Beam. And at this point, I'm, oh, I'm, getting, I'm getting bored. I'm getting frustrated. Uh, but I need to make sure I keep my wits about me. So I recover again because there's nothing worse at this stage than not recovering, getting crit, getting frozen, losing Kuki would just be the worst thing. So we recover, he ice beams, um, it's no big deal. We take a bit more damage, mist wears off, the rain has worn off, so there's a good chance he goes for either rain dance or mist right now, I hope. Uh, we use mud shot, it doesn't matter. We use mud shot, he goes down, so we're all, we're all good there. Nice and easy, all done, and boom. What the, f the hell? He's got a Rayquaza, what the hell? No one told me he's gonna have a Rayquaza. This is absolute BS to the highest degree. It is literally the most ridiculous thing ever. I mean, I've got no other options. I might as well go for a stomp, see how much damage we do. Rayquaza crunches, and Jesus. No, oh, we're not gonna be able to survive anything from this guy. No way. So we get stomped. Um, uh, he gets stomped, it does absolutely nothing. Uh, we can't recover because he's faster than us. Oh god, I'm so stuck. The only way out of this is through is through Shrimp or Dumbo landing a rock attack. That is all that we have got. So I'm sorry, boys. I, I really didn't want to do it, but I didn't have another option, guys. I'm sorry. Uh, but he used Fly. I switched in Thanos to sack it. He used Fly, but I still knew that we needed a free switch into Armaldo if we were going to win this battle. Even then, it's a risk. Because we need to make sure that that we don't get KO'd in one go. I really did think, guys, I really did try and work out there's another option, but there just wasn't. Oh, I'm sorry. You've served us well, Thanos and I. I'm sorry that you had to go this way. But let's see if we can do Thanos proud and get to the end of this flipping thing, shall we? Oh, I was really stuck, though. This was tense. Like, I can't express to you this is on a knife edge. Right now, an absolute knife edge. All of this time, all of this effort, every single week that we have put into it, and I make a mistake. I go for engine power and I should have sword stance. We knew he was gonna fly. It's his stab move would have done the most damage, and he hits us and it hurts. He brings us down to 89 HP. We ancient power, it's not enough. So here we are, stuck. What do we do? He uses another full restore. So even now, he's gonna be even stronger uh, we get another Ancient Power off, maybe, maybe, just maybe we can get the boost, even then we might not outspeed Rayquaza, it's so fast, it does over half, it does a good chunk of damage, do we get the boost? No, we don't, so it comes down to this, can we survive another attack from Rayquaza? It uses rest, and in this moment here, just this one moment, it saves our Nuzlocke, this absolutely saves our Nuzlocke. In, in one go because the other guys have got no health so they're not going to be able to switch in on much later on. Shrimp is almost down to half health. We're not in good shape but we know he's going to sleep for two turns so we can get the sword stance off on turn one of sleep and then guess what we can do on turn two of sleep boys and girls. We can end this mother. We can get rid of this guy for good. See you later Rayquaza. Thanks for making an appearance. Thanks for ruining this top this city for everybody and actually it wasn't you. You kind of saved it so really you're a good guy but whatever. See you later. Don't want you here. Get gone. Three Pokemon left, two of his. McGargo out next. This, without uh, a Sword Stance boost, 
we are going to struggle with, okay? Because I don't think we one-shot it without the Sword Stance boost, but we do one-shot it. It is gone. Our Maldo is just steamrolling through this team. Last up is Burnett. And guess what, guys? We still got that Sword Stance boost. We're still rocking it. Burnett uses Snatch, so we survive. We don't even go down this turn. We land the Ancient Power. Is it enough? Of course it's enough. And we get the boost on the last turn just to rub Wallace's face in our big scaly skin. So thank you very much, Burnett. Thank you, Wallace, for trying your best. But we have won it. We have won. We've uh, all this time and effort that we've put in, and you guys have put in watching all those Pokemon that sacrificed themselves so that we could get this far. We've done it. Thank you so much to everyone who supported. Thank you everyone who's chosen the Pokemon for me to use. They're a good bunch. The only survivors being uh, Shrimp the Armado, um, Dumbo the Donphan, and Kuki the Kingler, all of whom I think deserved. Uh, in every way to survive this Nuzlocke, guys. I think they have been amazing. So, yeah. Whew, we're done. We are absolutely done. Uh, May says some absolute BS to us again. As usual, she's fallen way behind us. And that's just fine. So, um, right, while we're here, guys, I'm going to talk to you again about what's coming up next on this channel. Uh, we're going to be running a double Nuzlocke, as I've said to you. We're going to be running one Nuzlocke um, uh, in this usual playthrough mode. And in another Nuzlocke, we're going to be doing on Twitch... Uh, at least once a week if I can, we're going to be playing Radical Red as a Discord, as a group, as a community. It's going to be so much fun, so please join me there. Twitch.com forward slash RubyTPokemon, 9pm UK time tonight, or 3 or 4pm, sorry, 4pm uh, Eastern Standard Time if you guys are over there. Or whatever other time that is in America, I don't know. Uh, I just don't know. I'm sorry. Um, but we were done. When we won this one, that's going to be super fun. The other Nuzlocke I still haven't revealed yet, but it's going to be a hard one. It's going to be super, super tough. Um, and I'm going to need you guys to send me names now because I'm going to lose Pokemon a lot in that Nuzlocke. So send me the names. Let, give me a list of names you want the Pokemon to be called and I'll get to it. So here we go, guys. We've got our winners here. We've got Dumbo the Dumb Fan and... Eh, Median. Ah, you did good, kid. Well done. Altair the Altaria uh, didn't have too much to do, but really did help us in the end absolute MVP of the whole Nuzlocke. He's been here from start to finish, ladies and gents. It's Shrimp the Armaldo. Kooky the Kingler uh, has done some great work for us. And, uh, and good old Wolf the Houndoom. So there we go. Thank you guys so very much for following along with me. Thank you for subbing to this channel and supporting me. It's so amazing. Um, the community is growing so much. Uh, I really, really appreciate it all, guys. So have a great day. And hopefully we'll see some of you tonight for the stream. Take care. Bye-bye.